if you want to give your Samsung account an extra layer of security, then you need to enable two-step verification. Now, two-step verification is basically an extra layer of security on top of your username password combination. And it basically lets only you be able to change your password and only you be able to log in to your Samsung account. All right, so the first thing you need to do is open your favorite web browser and go to samsung.com. And the website should look something like this. I'm using Chrome, but you can use any browser you want. And then click on the profile icon in the top right corner, or basically just put your mouse over it and select sign in slash create account. And then go ahead and enter your email address or username and password, and then sign in to your account. Sometimes you might be asked to verify that you're actually human, so do that. And then immediately as I'm signing in, it's going to ask me to protect with two-step verification. Now I'll click not now just for now so that I can show you how to do it in case you don't get that particular pop-up. I'll just sign straight in and from inside the account, I'll show you how to enable two-step verification. Now once you're inside like I am, put your mouse over the profile icon and then go to my account and click on that. And that should open your Samsung account page. And from these links in the upper right side, click on my account info. Click on that. And that will open account.samsung.com uh, in a separate tab or a new tab. And that should give you your Samsung account's information. Now on this new window, go ahead and click on security tab at the top there. And of course, you'll be required to enter your password before you can access the security settings. So enter your current password, the one you just used to sign in. Click confirm, and that will let you in into the security settings of your Samsung account. Now on this right hand side tile, you should see the option to change password and two-step verification. And as you can see, it's currently turned off. So what you wanna do is click on two-step verification. And then to enable the two-step verification, simply click on get started. And then of course, you're going to enter your phone number, which is what is going to be used as an extra layer of security. So choose your country code. The Samsung website will do a good job at detecting where you are and choosing the correct country code. But if they get it wrong, you can simply click here and choose the correct country code. And then enter your phone number in the next text box. And then click on send code. And of course, at this point, a code will be sent to the phone number you just entered there. So you need to go to your phone, read that code and enter that code here. And you should know that you have a limited amount of time to enter this code. If you need more time, you can click on extend time. But usually the phone is right there with you before you start this process. So uh, enter the code and click on verify. Once you verify, you'll get these optional backup codes. And these are codes you can use to verify your identity in case you're somewhere signing in and you don't have access to your phone or maybe you're in a different country and Samsung cannot be able to text you or send you a verification code. So you might want to download this and store them somewhere like in Google Drive or even print and carry a hard copy with you in case you're trying to travel. Anyway, if you don't need them for now, simply ignore and click on done. And sometimes you might be required to sign in once again. So Let's try signing in using two-step verification. So once again, it's username and password, and then sign in. Confirm you're not a bot. And now a code will be sent to your phone. This is actually the two-step verification in action. Enter the code and click on verify. And as you can see, I've been signed in to my Samsung account using two-step verification. And that's basically how to enable two-step verification on your Samsung account. Keep things secure, keep your Samsung account secure, especially if you do a lot with your Samsung account. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and good luck to you.